Hello everyone and welcome to the second part of our tutorial about unwrapping and creating materials. For uh, the first time we're gonna unwrap our mushroom. So we can get a UVW template where we're gonna paint our textures in Photoshop. So first of all select one of your champs or mushrooms and isolate the selection. Okay. First of all, we're gonna think about how we're gonna unwrap our model. So, first of all, we got here like a dome, and here is a pretty much uh, deformed or distorted uh, cylinder. Uh, what I've noticed is that our base, which means this part here, is not gonna be visible in our render and uh, in front of our camera. If I exit this, uh, the isolation mode, you see that it's barely visible. So, back to our model. What we're gonna do is we're gonna first of all apply in the modifiers list a UVW mapping clear and convert that to an edible poly, as you can see. Now, I'm gonna apply my UVW map or sorry the unwrap UVW okay so now let's focus on our model I want firstly to create a seam right here around the uh, around our cylinder okay so like that that's perfect and I'm gonna convert that to an it to a seam by clicking just right this button. Uh, now what I'm gonna do is going back to my camera and sorry and what I'm gonna do is pick an edge which is behind the mushroom somewhere like that. So we will not see this seam okay so now I'm gonna just do a loop and convert that to an editable poly. Okay? Now I'm gonna pick one of any face right here and then go down and ch click on expand face selection to seams. Oh sorry, uh, I made an error. When doing the loop I forget to uh, unselect the other part. Okay? So going back to one of your views and just deselect what is not needed. Okay, all right. So once it's done, convert that to a sim. Switch to polygon selection by pressing uh, three on on your keyboard and then expand your selection and you have this upper part selected. Now click on Pelt Map and the Edit UVs, UVWs uh, window will open with the Pelt Map dialog. So click on Start Pelt and it will uh, open it for you. Do Commit, then go to Tools, Relax, take the amount to 1 and face uh, relax by face angles and do Star Relax. And here we have it. This is our foot once it's unwrapped. Perfect. Okay, uh, the thing that we have, uh, the why we have curvature here and not a perfect rectangle is that our shape is not perfectly, or our cylinder has not a perfectly uh, circular shape. So this is why our our uh, unwrap here is not perfectly square as you can see uh, rectangular so as you can see here we got some curve okay uh, now I'm gonna explain a bit why uh, I've uh, proceeded like that so if we did not created this seam here right here we actually would have lost or not would have too much distortion here at the base and the texture will not apply very well etc so this is why I choose even if it's not visible 
if in your model it's visible, we want to do that the clean way, if I could say. Okay, so pelt map and then start pelting. Commit, tools, relax, amount to one, and then go to by face angle, start relax, and it's done. Okay, close this dialog, check select by element, and select these two and do a rescale here. So, the uh, max will give him their original size. Okay, that's it. So, if you want to, qu to get a quick preview of what we've accomplished here, uh, I'll show you. So, uh, you can here uh, go back to your editable poly or add a knitted poly modifier and go to element selection, select this cylinder here, go down, down until you find polygon materials ID and set the ID to 1 and select the upper part and set the ID to 2. Okay? So, that's it. Go back to uh, the NWAP uh, UVW modifier. Press on M to open the material editor and click on this little button here so we can open the, the browser, uh, material map browser, and then I'm going to apply a checker. Uh, sorry, for, before that, uh, just convert your standard material to a multi sub object uh, and uh, Keep an old material or sub material. Set the number to two and press OK. For the first one here, I'm gonna click right here and choose bitmap. Okay, bitmap, and I'm gonna search for bitmap I have here. I created. It's a checker, so I can see how the textures act. The texture actually work. Uh, once you've clicked on the sand material to selection, press here show shaded material and view part. So you can see how actually your uh, unwrapping looks like, etc. Okay? So, uh, uh, as you can see, it's inverted vertically and horizontally, so we need to fix that. We have to fix that. You can get up the tiling a bit to like 4 by 4, so it's more visible. Okay? And we're going to play with the UVs here just to have the perfect angle and orientation of our texture. Okay, something like that. And do a mirror horizontally and then vertically. And that's it. And there you have it. Your texture is, uh, or your model is perfectly uh, unwrapped. Okay, so that's it. We want it in front of the camera to be the best aligned possible, like that. It's looking good. Now we're gonna go for the base and do the same thing. So here, uh, as I said, it's not gonna be really visible, but it got to be well done also so even if some parts are visible it's not gonna be ugly okay so that's it uh, I think we are good with the foot here okay from such a distance I think yeah it's looking very well for uh, the dumb part here we're gonna uh, proceed in another way uh, for that, what we're going to do is we just switch back to your camera and choose here this upper edge here. Okay, this one here. And what I will do is do a loop here and then come over here and again do a loop. Okay, so and then convert that to a sim. That's alright. Now I'm not come over here and select these edges here okay deal here okay so we have these edges here and convert that to a seam okay so we have this kind of shape so 
why I'm doing that, uh, for example, most of us will automatically do sim right here and then trying to do pelt map, but the amount of distortion is pretty important in this case and we're gonna lose a lot of geometry and uh, sorry, a lot of definition with the textures, textures, etc. So I want to avoid that by doing this circle here as it's in the top and it's not gonna be very, very visible as this part gonna be. Okay, so I'm switching back to polygon selection mode. Click here. Okay, that's alright. And do then a pelt. And let's do start pelting and commit and here you see that we have pretty much the same shape we had with the cylinder okay so tools relax and then go the amount to 100 and face angles and here you have it okay uh, now let's take this one here and expand it like that and do a planar projection it's gonna be alright I think uh, that's it and finally we've got this part here the interior part it's not gonna really visi be visible here uh, only if you've got this issue here while, while positioning your mushrooms you just have to follow again this method here okay uh, so let's do that uh, simply what I'm gonna do is selecting these edges here this edge from here to the seam we've created like that and convert it to an editable poly uh, sorry <laughs> I'm a bit missed today uh, and convert that to a seam okay next I'm gonna switch to polygon modeling and expand its selection so then click Felt map. Okay, so rapidly, this is the kind of result you'll obtain if you do it with the uh, upper part. So I'm gonna just relax that, put it to one, and then use some by face angles and start relaxing. That's it. All right. So I'm gonna select all these elements here and rescale them. These two are good, so just move them there and go back to my camera oops back to my camera press M and yes uh, and click here uh, standard where is it there it is then click here bitmap and you've got this one here collapsed layers okay show it and as you can see here we've made an error or its precipitation if I could say uh, we've misused our seam and as you can see we can uh, clearly uh, distinguish the here the, the intersection or the seam so rapidly I'm gonna put that to 5.5 five, so we can see the orientation alright but this is not a problem actually as you can go back to your double poly select by element and then go back to local and do a simple rotation like that okay so this is not as catastrophic as it would actually be now what we're gonna do we're gonna open the UV editor and do some tweaking I don't know why the picture here has been inverted but this is not a problem we're gonna simply do a a mirror here okay here is fixed uh, same way now here is I think it it's looking good yes uh, we're gonna take this one here it's the interior part it's not gonna be visible doesn't really matter okay uh, this here let's check sorry here in my perspective view check how it does actually look yeah it's looking alright and this one here this is the part we want to okay like that 
okay and then like that and we've got our shape in place okay that's all right now we have to pack all our UVs so to f to e make it easier or pack custom it doesn't matter actually I'm gonna choose pack custom uh, it depends on the setting you've chosen uh, I think here when using tools uh, pack UVs okay so that's done this is our UVs and we can simply distinguish our areas so there's no problem that's alright I think it's good we don't want any specific details to be oriented it's gonna be roughly uh, texture with some with some brushes uh, effects uh, so it has to be random okay so th this is it so go to tools um, render UV template uh, 124 by 124 I think it's good maybe adding a bit doublet and render UV template and save it on your hard drive see you for the next part of the tutorial in Photoshop